My name is Salvatore Arancho. I'm a visual artist. I'm George Loudon. I'm a collector. I have just over 200 objects in my collection of science and natural history related visual objects. In choosing the objects to acquire them, I always looked at the ones that were more aesthetically pleasing. So I looked at them through the eyes of somebody who had collected contemporary art for a long time. I curated the show and also I created the display for it. When I started then placing objects within this series of shelves, I realized happy accidents, this kind of strange connection somehow appeared. I'm very fascinated by the same type of artifacts and objects that George collects. My work is very much inspired by nature and our obsession to understand what's around us and the aesthetic that creates. These are late 19th, early 20th century teaching models of plants. I wanted to somehow bring them alive by using found footage to animate them. They were educational, scientific footage of flowers blossoming. And this idea of turning them back into a, this kind of um, fantastic garden that they might have just grown out of the gallery space. This little piece of stone is a hand axe, which was man-made some 6,000 years ago. So it was a tool. The shape of it, for me, created this idea of an object that perhaps something that we use in some kind of ritualistic event and make me think of a monolithic shape. So I decided to totally upscale the object. The colouring makes this connection to this psychedelic idea within nature and also this sort of ritualistic aspect of what I see this object representing now. Some of the objects which are a deviation from the standard as nature sort of intended were being studied particularly in the 19th century and so there was quite a lot of attention on deformed plants and such. Here they've been given an added element of mystery or wonder, if you will, shown in a different context, they will look totally different again. Originally, some of those objects were also placed next to objects that were perhaps completely invented, and there were somebody's fantasy. This continuous blaring of fantasy and reality. And this is very much what I try to do with my work as well. It kind of starts from this sort of scientific background, but then it turns into something that is more fantastic. My work and my sculptures and the pieces I made, I see them as a sort of like sets where uh, the objects from George's collection somehow uh, inhabit them. This just position creates these sort of new readings of the collection and new narratives. I felt a bit like Alice in Wonderland going through all these wonderful objects that George selected through the years. <laughs> 